Hi everyone, Station Master Joe here. Now, 75 years ago today, this book, The Free Railway Engines, which is the first book of the railway series and was written by the Reverend Wilbert Audrey, was first published. In honour of that, I'm going to read to you a story from The Free Railway Engines. So, are you sitting comfortably, boys and girls? Great! Then I shall begin. This story takes place after Henry gets bricked up in a tunnel as punishment for refusing to come out in case the rain ruins his paintwork. And the story is titled Edward, Gordon and Henry. Edward and Gordon often went through the tunnel where Henry was shut up. Edward would say, peep peep, hello, and Gordon would say, poop poop poop, serves you right. Poor Henry had no steam to answer. His fire had gone out. Soot and dirt from the tunnel roof had spoiled his lovely green paint and red stripes. He was cold and unhappy and wanted to come out and pull trains at two. Gordon always pulled the express. He was proud of being the only engine strong enough to do it. There were many heavy coaches full of important people like the fat director who had punished Henry. Gordon was seeing how fast he could go. Hurry, 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 he panted. Truckity truck, truckity truck, truckity truck, said the coaches. Gordon could see Henry's tunnel in front. In a minute, he thought, I'll poop, poop, poop at Henry and rush through and out into the open again. Closer and closer he came. He was almost there when crack! He was in a cloud of steam and going slower and slower. His driver stopped the train. What has happened to me? asked Gordon. I feel so weak. You burst your safety valve, said the driver. You can't pull the train any more. Oh dear, said Gordon. We were going so nicely too. Look at Henry laughing at me. Gordon made a face at Henry and blew smoke at him. Everybody got out and came to see Gordon. Huh, said the fat director. I never liked these big engines. Always going wrong. Send for another engine at once. While the guard went to find one, they uncoupled Gordon and ran him on a siding out of the way. The only engine left in the shed was Edward. I'll come and try, he said. Gordon saw him coming. That's no use, he said. Edward can't pull the train. Edward puffed and pulled and pulled and puffed, but he couldn't move the heavy coaches. I told you so, said Gordon rudely. Why not let Henry try? Yes, said the fat director. I will. Will you help pull this train, Henry? he asked. Yes, said Henry at once. So Gordon's driver and fireman lit his fire, some plate layers broke down the wall and put back the rails, and when he had steam up, Henry puffed out. He was dirty, his boiler was black, and he was covered with cobwebs. Ooh, I'm so stiff, ooh, I'm so stiff, he groaned. You better have a run to ease your joints and find a turntable, said the fact director kindly. Henry came back feeling better, and they put him in front. Peep, peep, said Edward. I'm ready. Peep, 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 said Henry. So am I. Pull hard, pull hard, pull hard, puffed Edward. We'll do it, we'll do it, we'll do it, puffed Henry. Pull hard, we'll do it, pull hard, we'll do it, pull hard, we'll do it. They puffed together. The heavy coaches jerked and began to move, slowly at first, then faster and faster. We've done it together, we've done it together, we've done it together, they said Edward and Henry. We, you've done it, hooray, you've done it, hooray, you've done it, hooray, sang the coaches. All the passengers were excited. The fat director leaned out of the window to wave to Edward and Henry, but the train was going so fast that his hat blew off into a field where a goat ate it for his tea. 
They never stopped till they came to the big station at the end of the line. The passengers all got out and said thank you, and the fat director promised Henry a new coat of paint. Would you like blue and red? Yes, please, said Henry. Then I'll be like Edward. Edward and Henry went home quietly, and on their way they helped Gordon back to the shed. All three engines are now great friends. Wasn't Henry pleased when he had his new coat? He is very proud of it, as all good engines are. But he doesn't mind the rain now, because he knows that the best way to keep his paint nice is not to run into tunnels, but to ask his driver to rub him down when the day's work is over. So, did you enjoy the story, boys and girls? I certainly enjoyed reading it. Here's to another 75 years of the famous engines of Sodor. Until next time, this is Station Master Joe, over and out. Thanks very much for tuning in, folks. Stay safe, take care, and God bless.